everyone has had at least one teacher in their life that inspired them. But what inspires teachers? What sparked their interest in teaching? How do they get through the difficult days? How do they work to get better? We spoke to dozens of teachers from across ARC schools. Although they come from very different backgrounds, we found when it comes to life in the classroom, teachers all have a lot in common. My name's David and I've been teaching 15 years. My name's Yvonne and I've been teaching for 41 years according to the documents I've seen. <laughs> I've been a teacher for 20 years. Six years now. Or about 15 years. And this is my first year of teaching. I've been teaching for five years. When I was at school, I probably thought it would be the last thing that I'd ever do. I would get line up on my teddy bears and a little mini whiteboard and I'd be telling them how to do math. I, I suppose I never wanted to do anything else. I always grew up wanting to be somebody who could give back. One of my inspirations of becoming a teacher came from uh, having amazing teachers teach me. I'm aware of what teachers have done for me and I'm willing to lay it all on the line to try and give these students what they need. I drew myself as my teacher saying I want to be a nursery school teacher. So I think it must have been that I had an amazing teacher and I just wanted to be her. My PE teacher at school was really inspirational um, and I just wanted to be like them. Um, my mum was a teacher. My mum was a teacher. My mum was a teacher. I fought against her for years and years and years and I set foot in a classroom and I knew that she was bright. So it was inevitable really. <laughs> the first time I walked into a classroom I thought what have I got myself into? It's really scary. My interactive whiteboard just would not start, and so I began to panic. I did a beautiful seating plan for my classes, but different children walked in, 30 small people. Who are going to pose you the hardest question that they can think of. I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> I think it was a transition for me of like, actually, I'm an adult. <laughs> I imagine I'm floating in the corner of the room looking at myself doing this performance. Now all of the responsibility is on me, but it was really good. You can be a good teacher, but there will always be something to learn. Sometimes you just see another member of staff and they do something you never even thought of. I remember my dad, who was a lecturer, and he said to me when I started, be firm and be fair. The best tip for teaching is that you've got eyes in the back of your head. You see something, you don't say it until a little bit later, so they think that, oh my goodness, Mr Ali wasn't even looking at me. Wear a fashionable pair of trainers on sports day, because the kids absolutely love that. Having a seating plan in place is so important. <laughs> the periodic table laid out on your, in your classroom. <laughs> don't put this catalyst next to this catalyst. <laughs> you can't make big changes in a short space of time. It's an aggregation of marginal gains which you keep improving. That's a quote from my wife, by the way. One of those children, they're going to make me laugh. They're going to make my day. Teaching gets such bad press. I don't think people stop and think that actually you get to hang around with a bunch of kids who are most of the time just want to have a laugh and they're actually quite funny. Kids are fun and I think one of the things they don't realise is they have no filter. Miss, do you realise you've got grey hair? Um, and I was like, that's because of you. I want to be the cool teacher, but I feel like the older I get, it's going to, it's going to leave me. Like the, like the word mem or meme, I don't know how it works. That's not how you floss, young man. <laughs> so I turned to this little boy and I said, oh, can I just check what's, what's your mummy's name? Is, is she called Jessica? And he said, oh, she used to be. I was like, oh, OK. And he went, but now she's called mummy. They are just the best thing to hang out with every day. And they really stop you being arrogant and growing a big head because they're real people and they say what they think. From the beginning? OK. So, wake up at 5.30. 5.55. 5.45 every morning. Get to school at 7. I have as much set up as possible. Planning, teaching, assessing, marking. Then I have lunch for 30 minutes. And at half three, they're gone. Five o'clock, go home. That never happens. Teaching encompasses lots of roles. So many special powers. A social worker, a big teddy bear for hugs. I'm a doctor at some point. I'm a, a psychologist. A castle builder. Paper aeroplane dismantler. We're really good cleaners as well, so especially in early years. <laughs>
all of the things that teachers do, it's worth it all because it just makes such a massive impact on children. You feel like, right, I've got through to that student. You can see a child's eyes be like, oh. Oh, rip. Oh, no way. And you go, have you got it? And they go, I understand now. Yes! And that's how you know they've got it. <laughs> you want to remember it so then see if it works for the next kid. You're proud of them, but you're also proud that you managed to get them there. Tingle goes up my spine. It's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> I wake up every day wanting to go to work. It, it is easily the, the kind of most enjoyable job I've had. It's a massive part of who I am and my identity now, um, and I would not want that to be different. I am very proud to be a teacher. Yeah, we're giving back. But it's not selfless because I feel great about myself when I'm, when I'm doing that. We've got young people in this area who now have better life chances because of the hard work of the adults in this building. 100% a teacher can change the life of a young person. It just takes one teacher. I don't, really don't want any of them to ever feel like their worth is judged on a mould that doesn't fit them. If they want to become a princess, then I will tell them how to become a damn good princess. They're the future environmental activists and our politicians. I know the reason why I'm doing this and I try my hardest every day so that these children do have the best chance to be the best that they can because they all deserve it 100%. I hope I've inspired them and they just amaze me all the time. You absolutely do start to care about them um, and see their journey as young people. Teachers are often the most important people in those, in those children's lives. Often they're the only other adult that they actually engage with. When those students are looking at me, I see trust, and that trust motivates me to ensure I do the best job possible for my students. Like, they, they deserve the best future. They have so much to share. That's the future generation of our country and our world, in our classrooms every day. I don't think there's a better job you could be doing. <laughs>